we are using now the drones uh, for pre-disaster risk assessment and uh, post-disaster damage and loss assessment. We are uh, uh, flying over DDD uh, farms in the Philippines to uh, measure using these drones the area affected or to be affected by the, the incoming typhoons or disaster. In terms of uh, efficiency and cost effectiveness, we can uh, plan uh, using a viable source of data so that we can uh, plan and provide interventions that is appropriate for our farmers in times of disasters and calamities. Unlike before, we are just uh, concentrating on the reports of our uh, local government counterparts. And usually it might be overestimated or underestimated. By the use of drone, we, we can have a scientific tool to, to analyze this data and provide appropriate interventions in times of disaster. At the moment, we are covering uh, Central Visayas or the regions uh, heavily affected by El Nino. So these are in the provinces of uh, Capiz and in Mindanao, uh, Maguindanao and Cotabato areas. And in, in the future, and in, if the investments of the government will come in, we will use this in the uh, typhoon-prone areas also, so that uh, a day or two uh, before the typhoon uh, have a landfall in the Philippines, we can approximate or do an estimation of a pre-disaster risk assessment so that we can uh, plan ahead and respond accordingly. We are coordinating with the private sector, a private company, to, to use uh, drones for cloud seeding operations. So they, they, they are uh, designing a prototype so that we can see if uh, this can be used for cloud seeding. Because uh, historically, I think two years ago, uh, we had a stop that died uh, during the uh, cloud seeding operations. Their local plane crashed. So by using also drones, we can also save lives.